In this video, we showcase a tool and service used in the construction of offshore wind turbines. This is a geotechnical drilling and sampling tool used in the early stages to determine suitabilities of locations for offshore wind turbines. Now, in this video, we will go through what it does, how it works, what its benefits are, and why this tool is particularly innovative. And at the end of the video, we're gonna go through the team of people involved in running the tool. So you get an insight on what jobs there are on an operation like this. This tool is by a company called Aratelis and it's called The Sword. Check it out. The Sword is a geotechnical drill used to collect soil samples to determine the suitability of locations for offshore wind turbines. The sword can take almost perfect soil samples up to 120 meters into the seabed at depths of up to 3000 meters so that you can have accurate soil data for building your offshore wind turbine foundations. The sword is launched from a chartered vessel and lowered to the seabed, remaining connected via an umbilical that contains all the hydraulics, fiber optics and electrical components that allow the sword to be controlled remotely from the surface. The sword has an inbuilt drilling system and carousel containing all the pipe casings for both drilling and soil sampling. And it does it all without the need to return to the surface. It uses sonic technology to drill rather than rotary drill, so it maintains the quality of the sample with minimal disturbance to the soil, therefore providing higher quality, accurate samples. After drilling to depth, a smaller diameter pipe is lowered inside the drill pipe to collect a sample of the complete soil profile. The soil sample is collected in three meter sections, making it easy to handle when it is recovered to the surface. And it does more. For collecting additional data, there's a CPT or a cone penetration testing system, which is a tool covered in sensors used to measure the reaction forces from the soil. The sword can switch between sonic drilling and CPT subsea without the need to recover to the surface. As of the recording of this video, the sword is the only known subsea drill to use both wireline and sonic technologies, which quite literally makes it unique. Focusing first on health and safety. The sword is almost entirely hands-free, removing workers from potential harm. After the sword is recovered to the surface, it has an onboard sample handling system that mechanically lays each sample on a gantry in a safe position before the geotechnical team takes the samples away for analysis. Carbon reduction. The carbon benefits are largely due to the speed of sampling operations. The sword is faster at collecting sample compared with other solutions. A drill ship, for example, not only is a larger vessel requiring more fuel, but the drill ship would also need to build the drill strings from the surface, whereas the sword is quickly deployed to the seabed and will immediately start drilling. Multiply this over every sampling location, the saving on fuel burning and time is considerable. Additionally, because it's a subsea drill, it can handle higher sea states and will incur less downtime than more weather dependent drill ships. All right, now for the team. There's a main operations manager, then there's two equipment supervisors, one on each shift, because when you're offshore, there's 24 hour cover and there's 12 hour shifts. So there's one equipment supervisor on each shift. And there's also drilling supervisor on each shift handling the drilling aspect of the operation. Then there's two CPT operators. They're a specialist with comb penetration testing system that they have one of them on each shift. Then there's six subsea techs, three on each shift. They handle the construction, repair and maintenance for the equipment that will go subsea. So they will generally be good mechanics, good with hydraulics and good with electrical systems and electronics. That's what they'll do. Then there's the ROV team. Now there's uh, a supervisor and tech on each shift. They will not only pilot this ROV, they will also do the, the construction repair and maintenance that's required. Then there's the geotechnical team. There's a geotechnical engineer and there's a lab technician on each shift. They will take the samples, they will analyze them, they will test them, and then they will make a final report. That's what they do. We've come to the end of our video about the sword. We're going to be making more videos on equipment and jobs that's gonna help us in this transition towards renewable energy. Leave any comments that you may have and don't forget to subscribe and follow. 
and we'll see you on the next one.